Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and in this particular video, we're going to talk about some really, really awesome plugins for After Effects. And yes, you guys will know me, I don't usually promote other brands plugins, other brands transitions, other brands effects like this, because most of them I usually make on my own. But this particular After Effects plugin set, or like it is a set of 15 packages which is really amazing and i feel that as i have not made any like permanent full package for you guys this particular package from a juice is really really amazing and i feel that you guys can actually get this particular pack and it is totally worth it the price for this particular pack is a bit costly i know it is around 300 dollars but yes for whatever you are getting, you are getting a lot of things in $300. So I feel that this is a really, really cool purchase for you guys. And yes, of course, if you guys don't have the budget for buying the entire thing, all the packages included in this particular bundle, you can just buy them separately as well, which I feel is a really cool option because if you guys can, you can just save it up and just buy one at a time, maybe, you know, in three months you guys buy one of them then later you guys buy another and then later you guys buy another it is totally up to you to you what you guys want to do with it so this bundle's name is i want it all bundle from a choose and they are the one who is sponsoring today's videos but yes they are sponsoring me doesn't mean that i'll be biased towards them so don't worry about that all the things i'm going to say about this particular plugins are totally my own genuine thoughts and i feel that this is one thing which all of you should invest it in because it is totally a no-brainer upgrade. This thing has so much in it. A lot of things are there going inside this particular package. Okay, so right now I don't want to waste anyone's time. So let's jump right into the tutorial and see how to use this particular effect. So first, what you guys need to do is just go to the window panel and then you are going to see a juice pack manager which you are going to download from the link in the description and then after you open it you are going to see this particular panel and then you are going to just make an account which is going to be in their website and then buy all the packages which ones you like and all and then after that after logging in in this particular area you are going to see all the purchased items right around this particular area so there are around one two three four five six seven eight nine 15 packages around for this particular I want it all package. I'm going to describe these two packages in details, the seamless transitions, which you are going to definitely love and the liquid elements pack, which I'm sure you are going to definitely love. Okay, so first we are going to show the seamless transition pack and the transition paths link is there in the description below. There are some example shots right here. It's in these transitions as well. And also it is the part of the bundle, the link to which is there in the description as well. So first of all, just open After Effects and this is my sequence. This is a pretty simple sequence with just two shots and then go to the window, click on a pack manager. This panel will appear and then click on seamless transitions. And then as you can see, there are tons and tons of transitions which you can absolutely use. Starting from basic transitions to camera transitions, dislocation transitions, fade transitions, glitch transitions, flare transitions, perspective transitions, offset transitions. There are lots and lots of them which you can absolutely use when you just purchase this particular pack. And there are so many, I'm sure you are not going to use all of them in one single video. And yes, the purpose and the quantity is enormous. It is totally up to you which one you guys like. So in my case, I'm going to just show an example with one of these particular transitions. So I'm going to just show an example with one of the glitch transitions, which is there here. I'm sure you all like glitch transitions, right? So it is pretty simple to use. Just drag whatever. Let me just keep it on the left hand side and then just drag and drop it onto the timeline and it is that simple. So whenever you drag the transition onto the timeline, you are going to see a new layer forming and there is a marker placed on that particular layer. That particular mark position, it will be the particular position between your two shots. So that particular mark position will be there in between of your two shots. So I'm going to just use an example with another transition. For example, a fisheye transition, I'm going to just drag and drop it onto the footage just like this. And this is the result. And another example with the stretch transition, the same process, the same mark position. And this is the result. 
and it is pretty simple to use. Just drag and drop it onto the footage, render it out. The rendering part will be a little bit time consuming depending on your computer and it is good to go. So these are some examples which I have just made after these footages. These are some random shots and these are the prime examples of all the transitions available in this particular pack. Also I did not use every transition, just some of them which I like. But yes, the creativity using this particular transitions are enormous. The second pack which I am going to explain in detail is the liquid elements pack and as you can see this is one of the pack which you can use to animate your dance moves using like those blotter media style videos or any other kind of dance videos out there with some animations on it. So these are some really cool liquid elements which you can use in your videos and it is definitely going to add a new totally new layer onto your videos and trust me it will look really awesome if you can use it really well. So once you open a juice manager, this is the liquid elements pack and these are the animations which you are going to have. So basically this elements pack has lots and lots of pre-animated elements already keyed out. So you guys have to just drag and drop it onto the footage, rescale them and rotate them whatsoever the way you like and you are good to go. There are tons and tons of them, for example fire, bubbles, there are some hearts. There are some fuse loops, footprints, flowers, paths, loops, impacts, liquid, lightning, etc. There are tons and tons of them. It is totally impossible for me to show each and every one of them. So I'm going to just show an example using one of my dance clips and just animating them using this particular liquid elements pack. So this is my particular video which I'm going to use to animate. So I'm going to just choose one of the portions. This lake portion will be a really cool option to have. I'm going to just add one of the animations from this particular pack. So I'm going to just go to impact or maybe not impact, maybe leaves flying pack. And then I'm going to just choose the lightning one and just drag and drop it onto the timeline and you are good to go. As you can see, it has formed a new layer and this is the animation already made. And if you want another color and not white, then just go to the A pack manager and go to the right bottom side and there's the option to change your color. Just when it appears, change the color to whatever you feel like. For example, in my case, I'm just use yellow and then click on OK. And then after that, drag a new layer just like this. And then as you can see, it is yellow in color now. So delete the previous layer. And in this case, as you can see, it is a little bit larger. So I'm going to just hit scale and then reduce the scale of this particular clip. And then I'm going to just reposition it so that it just fits perfectly in that leg portion and maybe rotate it a little bit. Maybe hit the rotation a bit just like this. Yes, this is going to look really good. And once it's done, it looks like this. And then I'm going to use another animation in this particular portion where the leg is in front of me. So I'm going to use another lightning just like this. Maybe lightning 10 will do. So as you can see, it is a bit larger as well. So I'm going to hit scale and then just reduce the scale of this particular animated clip. Just like this maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit more will do and a little bit of rotation as well just like this and it looks really good so I have just basically placed around 10 to 20 new layers using this particular animation and I did not show each and every part because it is a bit too time consuming to show in this particular tutorial because I am sure this particular video will be a very long video so I've just placed around a lot of new layers and this is the final result. And the link to this particular pack is there in the description. Just check it out. It's pretty awesome for After Effects. I'm going to just give a brief explanation of all the other packages which is there in this particular bundle as well. So first one being the slideshow package. As you can see, it is the slideshow. I'm not a big, big fan of slideshows, but yes, I'm happy that this is there. This is a very cool slideshow. And there are some examples on the screen as well. So it is just a simple drag and drop. Just choose your clips, choose your song. And it is automatically going to do the thing just for you. 
the next one being the sound effects pro pack now as you guys know sound design is a very important thing in videography and in cinematography so they have given bunch of royalty free sound effects and sound design and these are mainly flawless sound effects and all those background music which you are going to use in your videos and a little bit of background music actually can make a lot of difference so i am actually happy they have actually given a tons and tons of sound effects totally totally royalty free in this particular bundle and this is a really really good thing to have the next one is a slide bundle for weddings now this is a really cool thing you know all the things such as the brush strokes some lens flares some more brush strokes ink transitions and some more overlays which you are going to use in your weddings they have it all in this particular pack there are some examples on the screen as well the next pack is whiteboard animation now you all know what whiteboard animations are right these are the animations which you are going to use in your videos maybe for a whiteboard explainer video or maybe for a presentation video this kind of videos can be done easily in after effects using this particular bundle and i feel that i'll make a tutorial tutorial on this later on but this is a real cool thing to have and you don't have to download all the other packages or all the other softwares which is there on the internet you can do it in after effects just by using this particular plugin the next one being the liquid transitions pack now we all know what liquid transitions are right these are this cool seamless liquid animation transitions which you can use in your videos now just to be sure all the transitions all the effects after this are a simple drag and drop into the timeline and you are good to go all the things are already pre-made just drag and drop it onto the timeline maybe change a few settings maybe change the key to alpha mat or something but that is pretty much it and the rest it will do on its own just drag and drop it and it is pretty much done so these are the transitions which they have and they have a pretty good package they have like 140 packages of transitions for this particular pack only the next pack is the shape elements pack and this is a really cool pack if you have any kind of tech videos or explainer videos or even dance videos for that matter maybe those blotter media style videos you can use it as your background or maybe a little bit more aesthetic in your videos for your b-rolls and all for example the ones i'm using on the screen right now you can just make the screen a little bit more aesthetic using these particular plugins and also simple drag and drop for this particular plugin as well and they have a second pack also with the name shape elements 2 this is also there in this particular bundle and they have a bit more better and a little bit more vibrant and colorful seamless shape elements which you can use in your videos same drag and drop feature in this particular plugin as well the next one being the test presets actually they have it like a lot a lot of test presets for example 40 character presets 8 line presets 37 words now it might not seem a lot but yes 8 line presets which means that you can write a lot of lines in it and all the things are already pre-made just drag and drop it and change the basic settings that you are good to go for example all the a juice ones are right here which is there for the characters one and for the words one these are the ones which is there which you can use to make lots of words and yes all the things are already pre-made just drag and drop it change the words and you are good to go the next one being the monster transitions one and yes this is like a better version of the shape transitions or the liquid transitions which i just showed a little bit while ago also they have a little bit more better things such as this montage ones which you can use as your youtube outros as well or maybe some other cases where you can just show your logos or maybe some other cases where you can just using it as an opener they have a bunch of ones such as clock glitch montage objects others rectangles shutters etc a lot more so it is a really cool option to have the next two are actually 2d and 3d presets so as you can see these are already pre-animated presets which you can use to maybe show a particular logo in your videos or maybe just show something which you want to just have an animation on but too lazy to just keyframe everything this particular 2d and 3d animations are for that particular purpose only 2d is mainly for the 2d plane which as the name suggests and 3d is also included in the z axis so that is why the name 3d animations take place so there are some examples on the screen these are the examples and these are all pre-animated just using this particular plugin no external keyframes i have done on my own all the things are done by this particular plugin only 
the last one is the flat icons one and as the name says these are actually pre-animated flat icons which you can use in your videos and you can use it anywhere such as as you can see there is an upload button there's a vector icon vector video camera a lot of them which you can use in your videos maybe as a side lower third or any other kind of uses you can use this particular flat icons also you guys know what flat icons are so i'm not going to elaborate much on this but yes a simple drag and drop on this particular feature as well so that means that thank you so much guys and this is pizza sammy we'll be back with another video soon peace out